In this last section, we're going to go ahead and add and subtract with other bases. Now, it may sound crazy to think, well, how would I add in different bases? Well, we can recall that we were adding in the Mayan, the base 20. Remember, they were symbolic, but yet we understood what we were doing, right? Because remember that when we were adding in Mayan, remember if I did 13 plus 9, I said this is the same because if I add 13 plus 9, I know that 9 plus 3 is 12, but I don't write 12 here, right? I say, no, 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 that passes the 10 marker, and I put the remainder, right, 2 here and go into the next place value. And then I can add down and I'll get 22. So remember that once you pass those digits, right, you pass that 10 marker, you've carried over um, to the next place value. How do we know this? Well, recall that the digits for base 10 is 0, 1, 2, comma, dot, 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 all the way to 9. So 0 through 9 can be in one place value digit, right? What, these digits in here is could be 0 through 9. So 2 is here, so that's OK. But 10 isn't, right? So that means I have to carry it over to the next place value. So this means that if 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 9 is the last one, where is 10? Well, it starts over again. It rotates, like time, right? 12 to midnight, it just rotates, right? 12 to 12, right? Same thing here. So 10 is going to be equivalent to 0 in base 10, meaning that if I had 11 plus 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 is equivalent to 0, so a 0 would go here. I went past the first set of digits once, so I add 1 in the next place value, and I get 20. That's how it really works, addition, is we kind of just keep rotating. And if I wanted um, here, 19 would is equivalent uh, 10, 11, 12, yeah. 19 is equivalent to 9 in base 10, right, when carrying the 1 over. And then 20, and any multiple of 10 is essentially a 0 in that place value and carrying that many over. Well, how does it work in base 2? It's the same thing. You rewrite it vertically, start in the 1's place as usual, add, and if you pass over your digits, then you'll have to put the remainder in the place value and carry one over. So in this case, in the base 2, when we're adding, notice base 2 is only 0 and 1. So anything beyond 1 is going to have to be carried over. But what happens right past 1? What is the um, integer right past 1? Well, it goes 0, 1, 2, right? So that means that 2 is equivalent to 0 in base 2. So we put a 0 in that place value. I pass the first row of numbers once, so I have to carry over 1, because right, because I used already all those digits once. So 3 is equivalent to 1 in base 2. And then if I go back to 4 and 6, so essentially any multiple of 2 is considered 0 in that place value, like a 10, and we carry over. But if we got to 4, then we would have to carry over another 1, so we would carry over 2, right? Because it depends on how many times you're passing the digits, right? So here, um, if I had 4, I'd pass it once here and then twice, so I'd be getting adding 2. So let's go ahead and take this idea, and I think it would be much clearer once I go ahead and start a problem. So let me write this vertically. So I write 1, 10, and I'll put base 2 really small, 11, base 2. Let me add. So let me go ahead and add down. 0 plus 1 is 1. Is 1 in base 2? Is it one of these digits, 0, 1? Yeah, because 1 plus 0 is 1. Perfect. Great. And I'll put a little base 2 because we're adding a base 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. But that is not in our base, right? We only have 0, 1 in base 2. So 1 plus 1 being 2 is right here. And I passed it once. So now 2 is equivalent to 0. 
in base 2 and I carry over once because I didn't pass 0, 1 more than once, right? I, 2 is right there in the next row. So 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 is not in here but it's here, passes it once and I'm going to carry over the 1. So it's a 0 and then I'm going to add a 1 in the next place value, so 1. And then, you know, because 1 plus nothing is 1. So um, 110 in base 2 plus 11 in base 2 is 1001 in base 2. Now, you, um, some students say, well, couldn't I just rewrite each 1 in base 10 and then add them up like I usually do and then rewrite it back in base 2? You can, but that's a lot of steps versus trying to just see if it's an even number, then it's a 0. If it's an odd number, it's a 1, and I'll just carry over a 1 to the next place value. So for example, let's go ahead and try B. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 in base 2, and then 1, 1, 0, 1 in base 2. All we need to make sure is when I add the two numbers, like I usually do, if it's in base 2, like it's either digit 0, 1, then um, I just go ahead and, and use those digits. But if it passes 0, 1, then I go ahead and just put a 0 or 1 there and then carry over a 1 on the next um, place value. So this first part, 0 plus 1 in the 1's place, well, 0 plus 1 is 1, as usual, and 1 is in base 2, so leave it as 1. Zero plus, 1 plus 0 is 1 again, and that is in base 2. Leave it. 1 plus 1 is 2, and then once again, I'm here, and I need to put a 0, because 0 is equivalent to 2, or 2 is equivalent to 0 in base 2, so now I have a 0 and I carry over a 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, that's fine. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 1 is 2. So once again I have a 0 and I have to carry over a 1. And 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 again is 2, which is 0 in base 2, and then carry over one more 1. And then 1 plus nothing is 1. So in this case, 10,110 in base 2 plus 1,101 in base 2 is equal to 100,011 in base 2. So all you're doing is finding that equivalent um, number in base 2 after you add. So add as usual and then find that equivalent number to see what digit belongs there. So base 2 is a little simple because there's only two digits. But in base 5, it's a little different because you have 0 through 4. And so what I do is I kind of write a little, a few rows of digits. So um, if it ends at 4, then 5 means that 5 is going to be equivalent, 5 in base 10 is equivalent to 0 in base 5 which means 6 in base 10 is equivalent to 1 in base 5, 7, 8, and 9. So this means that two, um, seven, 7 in base 10 is equivalent to 2 in base 5, 8 in base 10 is equivalent to 3 in base 5, and then if I keep going, I'll see that every multiple of 5 is equivalent to a 0 in base 5, and then you could write the rest. Right. Uh, 13 and then 14, 18, 19. And what we essentially want to see is if I have to pass 4 once, right, then I know that if I pass it and I'm either 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in base 10, that I have to add a 1 in that place value and then just coordinate whatever digit belongs or corresponds to that number in base 5. So if I end up adding two numbers and get 7, then I just write, oh, okay, I say 7, okay, let me add 1 to the next place value and the 7 represents a 2 in base 5. So let's try it here. So now 
I have 241 in base 5 plus 32 in base 5 and let's go ahead and add. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 is in base 5, leave it. Perfect. 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 is not in base 5. In fact, I have to go over 1, carry 1, and 7 is equivalent to 2 in base 5. So then I write a 2 in base 5 and carry over a 1. So let's do it again. So 4 plus 3, I say, okay, well that's 7 as usual, but 7 is equivalent to 2 in base 5, and I went over and passed this first row once, so I add 1 in the next place value. Now I have 1 plus 2, which is 3, and 3 is in base 5, so I can leave it as 3. So 241 in base 5 plus 32 in base 5 is equal to 323 in base 5. Okay, so let's do this last one and let's see if we can do it pretty quick because it's super fun and it's not too bad. Okay, so here 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 is equivalent to 1 in base 5 and I have to carry over a 1. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 is 1 in base 5 and I have to carry over another 1. 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5 and 5 is equivalent to 0 in base 5 and I have to carry over the 1. And then again, 4 plus 1 is 5, which is a 0 in base 5, and I have to carry over a 1, and then 1 plus nothing is 1 in base 5. So 4022 plus in base 5 plus 434 in base 5 is 10,011 in base 5. Now in this class we're not going to go too in depth. This is, you know, it can get a lot more complicated, but in this class I would just write down the first couple of rows underneath and it kind of look like a matrix, right? And just correspond the digits with um, the base 10 numbers like this and just correspond, say, okay, if I get an 11, that's equal to 1 in base 5 and I passed how many rows, one, two, and I would add two in the next place value. So we just wanna make sure that we, you know, you just kinda of make it um, organized, and that's the quickest way. The long way is to rewrite them in each number, each add-in in base 10, and then add them together in base 10, and then write that base 10 number into a base five, which is a little bit a longer way, but, um, it still works. This one is pretty cool if you kind of get used to the notation and then it just is fat. You can add really um, pretty quickly.